YouTube. Today here is a video to show you guys how to stop a brick. Um, um, a brick Galaxy Core Prime, and it's stuck in this boot loop. And this is Metro PCS. Now you will need a computer for this, and that's all you really need. And once you unlock it, it's like device unlocked. I'm going to show you guys how to do that too. All you need is um. Once you have a computer, you're going to need Odin. Now, once you have, like, Odin or something, you're going to make sure you install your um your firmware for your... um. You're going to need to install the firmware for this phone. So, look it up on Samsung and make sure you have the your version, like... like I'm going to unplug this. Hold on. Take your battery out and you can see your version at the top right about you can be wait till it clears at the top the first one now I'm gonna put the battery in now you need to put this phone in recovery mode to put it in recovery mode you want to hold it this the power button down the home button in the power the volume button down the home button in the power and then it should come into a mode like this you want to hit the volume button up and then you should be in there and then you're going to want to connect your USB. Now that I'm connected to the computer, I'm going to, um, once you, um, finish with all of that, you want to, um, hold on. You're going to want to, um, Hold on. I'll be right back. Hold on, guys. I gotta wait. I gotta exit out of these um windows. All right, I'm back, guys. Now that I have my computer ready, um, I'm gonna go here. Look for Odin. Now I'm gonna go to Windwar. Here. No, actually, I'm gonna open up my Chrome. Exit out of all of this. Google Chrome. Now, once you downloaded your files, you want to go to your downloads folder. Because I can't find my downloads folder, so I just go here. And I go down. Until I see my Odin here. And then it's going to open the folder. And then you want to click on. And when you download that firmware, you want to extract it to any folder. Like, extract it to a folder that where you can find the download. Now, I'm going to open Odin. Now that Odin's open, now once you download your drivers, you should see blue this something blue in the calm area. Now, once you're here, you want to make sure that options you want. You want to unclick auto reboot because it sometimes it reboots too fast. You don't want to click nothing else or never click repartition or pit. Okay, never click pit. Now you want to click on AP. Now you want to find this file. This is my file for my um G three six O T one, and this is for the um. 336OH. This is for different versions. Now, this is my version, so I'm going to click that version. I'm going to open it. And once it's done, you got to wait. <clears throat> wait to wait for it to read it. It's going to say not responding, but it's actually responding, so don't worry. Don't try to exit out or nothing, because once if this is a good sign that it's working, because in a minute, it's about to load super fast. Watch, after it's done. Now, I, the reason you got to do this because you your phone won't boot up unless you, you got to um, replace it back to its factory version. Now look, now it's done, now it's checked, and there it go. Now once you do that, you want to click on start. And once it starts, you're going to see this over here filling up, over here. And then you can see it on your phone, right here. It's built in. Now, I will get back to you guys as soon as it's done. Alright guys, we're back and it's about almost done. Now it's done. Okay, now that it's done, you want to once you're done, you want to click exit here. And once you exit, you just want to disconnect the phone. And once you disconnect the phone, it should be cool. You want to take the battery out, okay? You want to take it out. 
and reboot it and see if it boots up now. Now once it does this, your phone should start normally, but you got to reset it. Like, it's going to download what's already been downloaded to your phone. It's going to do that. See, look, it's going to do this, and you should be done. You should be done, sir. Erasing everything. Now you're cool. Now your phone's going to start up normally. It should take a process. So it should take a minute for it to start up, though. Like, five minutes at least. But I'll get back to you when it's done. Now that it's done, now look, guys. Once you do all of this again, I've already done it before. Now look. Everything that I've did, it's all good. It's still here. Even I I even still have root. Now I've rooted it. Use Kingo as user and stuff. Because if you use that, then it should still be on all your stuff should still be on here. You can just keep resetting it. Now next video, I'm gonna show you guys how to rule it safely. Peace.